In this video, we're gonna look at the options trading spread strategy called the short strangle. Ideal if you think that the stock is going to stay in a range and you want to profit from that. Stay tuned. Hey traders, warm welcome to you. Okay, so part of the options trading series, in this video, we're gonna look at the short strangle. So the idea of the short strangle is that you think that the stock is going to stay in a range that you specify at expiry. So the ideal scenario for you is the stock stays within that range at expiry and the options that you're selling, you're selling options with this one, expire worthless and you take the full credit for those options. Now, it's slightly different from the straddle in that a straddle has a point on this PL outcome price chart, whereas a strangle gives you a bit more of a range. So you don't have potential for as much profit, but you have a more of a chance of profit because you've got this kind of tabletop graph. Now, one thing to point out with strangle is that Yes, you do have good chance of profit and there's a high probability of success with this, especially if you go wide out on the strangle. However, you have unlimited risk because you're not buying a put or a call option at the other side to create that kind of locked off uh, chart that you'd have perhaps with an iron condor. Um, so let's have a look. So you're selling one out the money, put one out the money call. The difference between this and a straddle is that a straddle you're selling at the money, which gives you that kind of point on your chart. Because it's out the money, this is why you get that flat plateau, because you want it to you want the stock to actually expire in between where you're selling those puts and the call. So let's imagine again that we've got XYZ and it's trading at 40 bucks. Okay, so how do we construct this? Let's say we want to arrange something five dollars either side of it. So what we do is we sell one thirty-five dollar put and that's currently trading at one dollar but we've got one contract options contract which is 100 shares so we receive a hundred dollars on that the buyer pays us a hundred dollars we give them the contract in a virtual sense and the same with the call this time we're going five dollars above the price because we're currently trading at 40 bucks so we sell the 45 call and we get a hundred bucks for that as well so the net credit we receive is two hundred dollars that's what we receive for these contracts now you can see why we hope these expire worthless if they do we receive the two hundred dollars full profit for the deal. And that is the maximum profit we can make. So I'm gonna put a max on there. We can't make any more than that because they can only expire to expire worthless and we're currently short both those options. And you can see why as well, an additional thing that we expect the stock to stay in a range will be, we also think that the options are overpriced because if they're overpriced, that could be something like 200 or 300 or 400 or 500, whatever it may be, the more premium we collect. Of course, overpriced means that other people believe that this stock is volatile. So this perhaps is less likely, but again, a commercial decision for you to make as a trader, as part of your trading business. Right, let's look at some scenarios. So this is the uh, dollar at expiry. Uh, the price at expiry. By the way, expiry doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter. It's an arbitrary price. It could be, you know, next year, next month, next week, or whatever. As long as it's at a point at expiry. What are the options going to be worth at these different prices at expiry? So let's say the stock uh, does nothing. Let's say it stays at forty dollars. Great. That sounds great because you're. 30 or 45 call is worth nothing because you've got the right to buy something at 45 that's trading at 40 zip what about a 35 put well again that's worth nothing you've got the right to sell something at a, a, a 35 that's currently trading at 40 there's no value in that so worth zero zero you get the full 200 dollars credits don't forget you sold that for 100 you sold that for 100 now worth zero you've got 100 plus 100 200 and it's the same for 35 and 45, isn't it? Because you've got a 45 call, the value of the call is zero. The value of the put is also zero because even though it's at the strike, you still no intrinsic value in something, the right to sell something at the same price. There's no value in that. Uh, and so you've got zero value for those as well. So you get your 200, full 200 credit. And you can see we're starting to put this tabletop graph on here and how it's forming. So $35. There, if I draw a dotted line straight down here, you know that's where uh, we start dipping off on the full profit. And 45 to the upside as well is here. So that's our maximum profit, 200 bucks. Right, 
What happens if things don't go our way? Let's say it goes out of the range, it goes to $50. We go, ah, you know what, that's not so good. So $50, what does a 45 call become worth? Well, it's $5 worth of value times by the 100, it's worth $500. Uh, the 35 put though does expire worthless, so we've got the full uh, $100 on that. Unfortunately, you know, we've had to pay out $400 for that uh, call because it, we, we received $100, we have to pay $500 worth of the option. So we've paid out $400, received another $100 back from that put that expired worthless. So uh, it's not so bad, but our loss is still 300 bucks on that. So $50, we lose 300 bucks. Um, what about if we go even further just to see how bad this loss could potentially get? So let's say it goes to 20. Now bearing in mind that would be halving of the stock in this example. So depending on how far in the future you've got, you've got to weigh out whether that's likely to happen and weigh out the consequences of it happening if it does. But anyway, let's do the sums on it. The 45 call obviously becomes worthless. The right to buy something at $25 above the price is worthless. And what about the $35 put? Well, that's got $15 worth of value. That's a really valuable put because you've got the right to sell something at 35 to 20, $15 worth of intrinsic value, do that times three. A plus, times by 100 shares, giving us $1,500 is the value of that option. That sure as heck is going to be exercised. However, don't forget, not all is lost. Well, it's not the greatest thing, but we, we received $100 first, so we have to pay out $1,400. But of course, 1400 out and received $100 for the worthless call. So it's $1,300 net. That's our loss if it went to 20. So it's not quite unlimited to the downside, right? If we went even further, the most we go zero. Where the danger could come in is if this stock trebled or quadrupled and we started talking 100, 200. Of course, that call is going to be you know, more and more and more valuable and the put will stay at zero. And that's where the loss could come in. Okay guys, so that's the short strangle. We've got cap profits as we can see here at 200 bucks, unlimited risk, but we've got a pretty decent range. We've got $10 range either side of that, or $5 either side of that, 40 bucks, $10 range. If it sits in that, we make the money. And of course we can make it wider. If we decide to, we can say, okay, well, let's go for 50 call and a 30 put. Now those are gonna be cheaper, so you're not gonna get as much credit. So of course, the narrower you have it, the more you get, the more credit you get, because you've gotta be more, more right, more correct. The wider you have it, the less credit you're gonna get. But of course, you've got more room for error. You can go as far out as you like. You might even go down making $10 on these, and they'll charge it 10 cents and you're way out. So of course, the probability of success is very, very high, and the probability of making money is very, very high, but the risk reward ratio is huge because you're gonna probably make money, make money, and eventually when it does go out of that range, or if it does go out of the range, then the loss is pretty catastrophic. But that's again a decision you've got to make. Maybe it makes up for it. Maybe you make many, many, many more times it makes up for the one time it goes against you. Commercial decision for you guys to make as traders. Anyway, that's a short strangle, guys. You're setting one out of the money put, selling one out the money cool, and these are the kind of results you get. That's the sort of thing to picture in your mind though if you wanted to create that yourself. Take care, whatever you're doing. Appreciate your subscription if you're a subscriber. Like if you like this kind of stuff. See you next one, guys. Bye-bye.